Welcome to Kramer Control Tutorials. My name is Tom Copen, engineer at Kramer Electronics. In this video, we will dive deeper into the driver manager section of the KCONFIG software, specifically looking at IR commands and IR learning. If you are not familiar with the basics and purpose of the driver manager, please see a previous video in the series for a basic walkthrough. The easiest way to show how to work with IR commands is to use an example. For this video, I will create an IR driver for a Sony Blu-ray player. When I open the drivers tree, I see that Sony is not currently in my library, so I will have to add it. After creating the manufacturer, I will add one device, a Blu-ray player. Now that I'm done, I'll click Edit. Next, I will change the device type from Generic to Blu-ray Player. Since my device does not have serial or Ethernet port to control it from, I'll be looking in the IR section for this driver. To enter IR commands into KCONFIG, you will need to read or learn them from the IR remote of the device that you are trying to control. Most Kramer master controllers have the IR learner built right in. However, if you are looking for a standalone IR learner, Kramer's FC29 will work just fine. To start the example, let's learn the power on command for the Sony Blu-ray player. First, I'll need to find the command in the IR drivers tree. As you can see, it is currently blank. Next, I must connect to my IR capture device, in this case, a Kramer SL12. Press the connect button. You can connect via UDP or Ethernet, serial or USB. In this example, I'll use Ethernet. Now, I'm connected to my IR capture device. Next, press the read command button and you will be prompted to continue. For this next part, you will need to have the IR remote for the third party device. You should also be in an environment with no other IR traffic. When you're ready, press OK. Now point the remote at the IR sensor of the Kramer device and press the desired bu button you want to learn. As you can see, the command is stored. You press OK, and that command is now learned and stored under the Power On button. Finish creating the driver by repeating this process on other commands. and so on until you get all the commands necessary that you need for your control environment. Once you have learned all of the commands required, you can test the commands the same way that we tested serial commands in an earlier video. First, you want to select the IR port of the master device in which the commands will be sent out of. In this case, I'll choose IR1. And then press test command. The command will be sent out IR1 and hopefully the device that you're trying to control will react to that command. You should now have an advanced understanding on how to create an IR driver for any IR remote. To learn more about other topics, please check out our other videos in the Kramer Control tutorial series. For Kramer Electronics, I'm Tom Copen. Thanks for watching.